Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at Fat Notes. Now, there are a lot of note applications, note taking applications out there for mobile devices, but there are not a lot of them that are out there that allow you to sync your data with PCs. And uh, of course, pretty much any computer or even some other mobile devices if you have the capability. Now, Fat Notes has uh, been out for Microsoft Windows based smartphones. So if you are coming from a Microsoft Windows uh, smartphone, some sort of smartphone, or even the desktop PC, and you've used Fat Notes before, then it's going to be nice because you're going to be familiar with this application. So uh, really easy to use this app. Of course, keeping all of your notes organized and creating notes is relatively quick and easy. You uh, can create notes and it automatically organizes these notes and you can organize them in several different ways. I just went into a note that I was uh, previously uh, working on and of course it works very quickly. Now I like the predictive text that it has here. There are predictive text that takes place kind of very seldomly on the iPhone. There are even some other applications that have uh, some predictive text, um, but not as good as what I'm seeing here. See, the words that it's giving me are actually words that I could potentially use, as opposed to some of the predictive text that I get in other devices, which is just not even what I'm looking for. So, and it automatically adds a space, so I could just keep typing. I love the way that that works. Now, you can also, if you're familiar with uh, gestures, you can write as well. Now, it's been a while since I've had a, uh, a device that recognizes gestures, so um, reading these gestures, I don't, I don't necessarily remember all of them. Looks like I'm doing okay, though. Eh, maybe not. Can't seem to get an A. Eh, get a lowercase. Let's just leave it at that. And apparently that was an L. There we go. Not too bad. So I'm not up on all my gestures. Of course, if you're not familiar with uh, using gestures for, for writing, then it's going to take you a little bit of practice, too. But uh, it definitely works pretty good at recognizing those gestures. Uh, so then you also have um, the uh, share mode here as well, where you're able to do different things like even uh, throw links, email, uh, and the like. So in the editor here, we can edit stuff, of course, change um, from font to number easily, symbol. I can get a location and create that as a link. I can insert a contact. I could uh, translate some text, or I could share the entire note through a Wi-Fi connection. Um, so very neat. So after I'm done with a note, of course, um, I could do a couple of things. I could create another note. I can email out a note. I could link it. Or I could even go in and view in the settings. Now there are um, a lot of settings, even on a per note basis. When you're creating a note, you can add it to categories. You can also create categories right on the fly while you're adding a new note. You can change the color of the note so it shows up in a different color. Let's just give this one a title. And add it to a category. I can protect this note and set a password specifically for that note if I would like. Set a priority for the note. These are all normal things, setting a, a date. What's really cool is the author date, and then setting a reminder date. And what the reminder date does is sends you a push notification. I have push notifications turned off right now because it makes it hard to do demos with push notifications showing up. But you can set a push notification for a note, which I think is awesome. And then, of course, it sends you a note. So we have some basic settings down here, uh, edit, uh, text editor settings, autocorrect, and... Um, 
all of this stuff. There are a lot of settings here that you can go through. Disabling landscape, uh, drawing the grids, which um, the grid helped me with my recognition writing with my finger. Um, we have uh, vibrate and play sound uh, if the uh, on an error or timeout so it can give you a sound effect or something like that. The selecting default font sizes, uh, the scroll gestures and everything, touch delay, lots of settings. Um, the dictionary, autocorrector list, um, just so much right there. Manage user data, uh, of course. Um, I can import and export my own dictionary of file or of words and stuff as well for it to um, automatically predictive text to me. So, so many different options in this application uh, to extend the functional functionality of writing notes, which is great. Um, and I can't go through all of them, but obviously you saw that they are there and they are available. Um, so let's just put a little text in here and go back. So now we have two different uh, items that I've entered today. Um, what I can do from there is send these items out. I can save them. Um, I have a lot of different filtering options here. I could filter by date, text, category, color, or the priority level that I set for it. Uh, really nice. I can also sort here easily by just simply changing um, this to created, which is the way that I would want it set. Um, yes, let's go back. So now we're in our categories again, um, really easily to share our information. I can simply do a data sync right here. It gives me that address that I can go to on a web browser on my computer. And then I can also share files to uh, and from the Fat Notes server. And there's the address for that. Um, I can have it set to keep awake. I can have the entire app require a password. I can group the folder, show group view, um, default note color, uh, use a filter color, default category. I mean, there are just so many options. And then, of course, when you're emailing a note, you can have the default email address set, a default um, uh, CC email address set, and then also a, uh, a BCC email address as well. So, so many different options. It's nice that it comes with a very intuitive uh, help menu here. So, if you have some questions, you could probably find answers in the help menu. So, I can't go through everything in Fat Notes, but obviously, this has so much functionality that it takes note taking on the iPhone or iPod Touch to the next level. It's a $9.99 app, so it's a little more expensive than some of your other note taking applications, but as you saw, there are there is tons more functionality. Of course, if you really like to keep things organized, then this is the app for you. It's called Fat Notes and you can get it if you go to dailyappshow.com/fatnotes. Take care and we'll see you next time.